Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Prison Architects, where things are going about as well as they have been for the entirety of the series. There's been two deaths today, which is honestly not as bad as other days. It's four in the afternoon in game, and only two people dead is is honestly we're we're shooting for the stars is what we're doing because last people dead is uh, is is good. I'm also not sure why this classroom never got its blue flooring put in, but I'm going to go ahead and just get that done because it being two colors is really annoying me. So we'll prioritize that so that we can, you know, get the classrooms all up and running. And speaking of classrooms, let's have a little bit of a look at what programs we are currently running, because I do want to run a workshop safety induction. So we are going to start that. And I do want to run a let's see no regime time slot let's reschedule everything let's we stop you i do want to run that kitchen one that we had there as well spiritual guidance i want to run that as well and i think that's what we're going to start today is by finally building up the chapel i think that's going to be a pretty good idea for us so let's go ahead and right off the bat spend way too much money on some flooring ten thousand dollars to be precise because I think it's probably for the best that the chapel has some nice flooring in here, you know, make the place just a little bit nicer. And then in terms of everything else, I mean, I think that's about the middle of the room right there. So we'll put the altar right there and we'll get ourselves, let's see, some pews. So the pews can go there and there and we can sort of just go back with these a decent little bit like so. The prayer mats can then go, I'm not really sure what way these are necessarily supposed to go. So I think we're going to do something like this with the prayer mats. We'll put two over there. We'll put two there and we'll do, I think that'll be fine. Gives us a little bit of symmetry for now. And would it be really inappropriate to put a statue of the warden right, you know, in here somewhere? I feel like it, you know, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to do those pews. I'm going to put a statue of the warden back there just because I can. And I also can't do the gravestones out here. That's probably for the best, to be completely honest. Could do a snack machine. Also an option. Also probably horribly inappropriate. So we're not we're not going to do that. We'll just go ahead and put the uh, the wooden floor in here. Because for some reason that got uh, cancelled there. And now that that's being built, we can go ahead into here and we can go to spiritual guidance and we can start that and eventually it will actually get started, which will be lovely. That'll hopefully cheer people up as well. Uh, now, the workshop is currently staff only and the kitchens are currently staff only. So if we go to deployment and we said this is shared, I think we can also go to this kitchen and say that it's going to be shared as well. And now having a look here, if we reschedule all of these, we now have workshop safety and kitchen uh, safety and hygiene, both good to go. So in theory, we're going to end up in a situation where we should see prisoners actually out and working. And what I want to do with that is I actually want to go into extras here and I want to go to mutators and I want to go ahead and turn off short sentences because we're getting to the point where as nice as it is to have prisoners coming and going pretty regularly, we are eventually and probably sooner than later Oh, wow. Does that, that still floods out there, doesn't it? Uh, probably sooner than later, we are going to want to make sure that uh, people are learning and, and doing good things. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. And also, a lot of my guards are not turning off to their patrols, which is really worrying because I have a lot of guards. I just feel like they're just they're just not turning up for the majority of their patrols. I guess they're just busy doing whatever else they're doing which is fair enough but it's it's still a little bit a little bit alarming anyway there have been a couple of changes since the last episode uh first and foremost all of this is now up and running and i love it i absolutely do we have these giant farm fields which are exporting wheat and then we have these down here which are growing carrots and potatoes and tomatoes and cabbages or cabbages if you will and more tomatoes now most of these guys are pushing into the various kitchens some of them are also going to exports as well just for a little bit of flavor 
I guess, in the, uh, in the exports. And let me tell you something. All right, let me tell you something about the kind of day I've had. This is completely unrelated to Prison Architect, but the last video I recorded before this one was the previous episode of Prison Architect, so it sort of ties in in that regard, I guess. I got done recording the last episode of Prison Architect, and my keyboard started acting weird. It was only typing special, like, characters and symbols, and then my mouse scroll stopped working. And I thought, oh, that's weird. So I rebooted the PC, and I, you know, at first for about a minute it was working fine, and then it happened again, and I thought, okay, let's have a look at the drivers for the keyboard, maybe that's doing something, and eventually I, I tried to force a firmware update on the keyboard, because it was one of those, one of those ones that you can save profiles on, and you can do all the firmware stuff, well, regardless, it's, you know, firmware for the keyboard, blah, blah, blah. I did all that. And the PC blue screened. It was a nightmare. That's kind of worst case scenario. Because this was this the PC that I'm talking about is the one that does all of my render. What do you mean two escapes today? Hello? Okay. Okay. We're gonna need to get some perimeter walls at some point. Um speaking of perimeter walls, by the way, I finally demolished all of this. So we actually are in a spot where we probably could do something with perimeter walls. And also we probably could get rid of all of this, which Probably not a terrible idea. Um, the PC that blue screened, though, was the one that I do all of my recording on. And by that, I mean, I've talked about this before, but I know not everybody's aware. Oh, for God's sake. I'm trying to tell a story here, man. Let's hold on a second. Big old guard response there, please. Let's just get this Raya under control. Much better. Only one death, too. That's actually not bad, all things considered. Um, yeah, so... Oh, I need to get rid of all this. That's gonna be fun. Um, essentially, what happened was the PC that I do all of my editing on, all of my recording on, and all of my broadcasting from and whatnot, uh, had blue screened. And as I was talking about there, uh, for those that don't know, I run a dual PC setup, and what that means is Prison Architect right now is running on one PC, while another PC is the one recording it via a capture card. That way, my gameplay, the, the performance of the game, isn't impacted by the fact that I'm also recording, is, is essentially what that does. It means the frame rate of the game is not going to be any less because I'm recording it. Uh, so having the PC that does the heavy lifting in that regard die is kind of terrifying. And it's it's not the first time it's blue screened. You know, PCs blue screen from time to time. Uh, you know, it's usually a driver issue or it's just something weird and usually a reboot and kind of reinstalling whatever you were working on tends to resolve it for the most part. Well, that didn't work because... What I wound up doing, I kind of realized that I, you know, I figured, well, it's probably something to do with this keyboard. So I'll go ahead and unplug the keyboard and then reboot the PC and let it load up and I'll go ahead and, you know, uninstall the drivers and blah, blah, blah. Um, well, as it turned out, the drivers were gone. So I plugged the keyboard back in because usually when the drivers are gone, if you plug something back in, what the system will end up doing is going, hey, you've plugged in a new device, let me automatically install the drivers. That's that's usually how these things work. So I thought, okay, well, reinstalling the drivers seems like it would probably be a good thing to do, right? Because at that point, you know, it's, it's essentially uh, a fresh install of the keyboard, as it were. Well, as it turns out, that wasn't quite the case. Uh, because the second I plugged the keyboard back in, the PC blue screened. And then, this time, even though I had unplugged it, it continued to blue screen. It would get through the process of saying, hey, Windows has encountered an error, we need to do this, blah, 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 and then we'll, you know, it'll restart. It got through the process, it didn't restart, it kept blue screening, regardless of the keyboard being plugged in. So it did this a couple of times, and eventually it comes up with a... There is a system error uh, you can try to recover. And what was most terrifying about it 
was, or sorry, it was, you can try to fix this. I mean, if you know, if you know Windows PCs and errors, you know all, you know, how this process works. But it popped up saying you can, you know, try to fix this. We'll try to solve the issue, uh, whatever. So I clicked the button that said solve the issue, you know, troubleshoot, blah, blah, blah. And it couldn't do it. It then came up with an option that for a minute kind of terrified me. Because the first option was essentially, we can't fix this. Click here to turn the PC off. That's That wasn't something I was particularly excited to be reading. Because essentially it was, eh, it's, it's screwed. Yeah, no, you're done. Good job, bud. Um, so that wasn't fun. But, uh... I, I read it a little further. I, I kind of looked at it again because I was I was a little stressed and annoyed, to say the very least. And I looked at it again and I noticed that there was advanced options. And I thought, okay, I should have a look at the advanced options and see what I can do there because I do not, under any circumstances, want to lose this PC. Essentially, that was that was kind of where I was at. I don't want to lose the system. You know, that's that's kind of worst case scenario, as it were. Also, we're going to try and finally do these perimeter walls out here so people stop escaping. Um, I think I can afford it. It's going to be very expensive to do this, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, so there we go. We'll get that installed, and then we'll get rid of the other wall and extend perimeter walls up to there. And uh, do the same just there and there. And we'll do the same up here at some point as well. But yeah, so the system was just telling me it was kind of done, you know, it had kind of checked out and then I saw advanced options and I thought, okay, let's have a look at that. And it said, okay, we can try to recover the system, you know, we can try to uh, essentially, you know, oh, for God's sake, another bloody riot. Uh, ooh, what have I just done? I didn't, I wanted to prioritize that. I didn't want to do anything else. Um... Yeah, so it was, we can essentially recover the system by reinstalling Windows, is what it tells me. And I think to myself, oh no, I'm going to lose everything. And then I read further, and it's like, no, 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 you can you basically save everything. It saves all your personal things, but all of the software that's been installed is going to be removed. Which in itself is a bit of a nightmare for me, because, oh my god. Well, that's bad. Um, in itself, that's a bit of a nightmare for me because it essentially means that all of my recording stuff is going to be uninstalled, all of my presets are going to be uninstalled. Bit of a nightmare. But it worked, is, is the good news. It did, at the very least, reinstall Windows, and I did, at the very least, get everything reinstalled. And uh, this video is the first one I'm recording since that happened. So if there's any audio desync or if the video is not in the usual resolution or I mean I'm looking at the preview of it right now, it looks a little bit darker than some of the previous ones. I it, it's because of that because everything has defaulted to how it was essentially. I don't know what I've done here. That's that's not quite what I wanted there. Um yeah, that's that's basically been my day has been uh, has been all of that it's been an absolute nightmare an absolute <laughs> bloody nightmare is uh, is what that was but like I said at least it is resolved I guess it's the PC doesn't need replaced because that would have meant you know tearing half of it apart to take some of the hard drives out to get the files out of it taking the capture cards out of it hoping that whatever PC I get with it is is a fitting replacement it was just I hate it. I hate it so much. I was talking in a video recently about how my setup is needlessly complicated, and honestly, this just backs up that idea. It really is. And uh, I, I am definitely, definitely thinking it might be about time to, um, I don't know. Oh, wait, I can, really? So I don't have any prisoners actually assigned to the kitchen, but because I have space for them. Okay. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Works for me. It means I get a new grant that we can play with here. So what are we doing? Long-term investment? Meh. Criminally insane? Meh. Uh, this we could look into because we're doing four of them. We just need to get 
apples, peaches, and bananas. I like the idea. Uh, I also like the idea of producing license plates. So that, I think, is going to be our goal. Is producing license plates out of the... Uh, out of the old uh, workshop over here. So we'll see how that goes. I also want to have a look at uh, deployment and make sure the patrols are... Hmm, they are not coming in here. So let's go and have a patrol here, here, and here. And then during work hours, we are going to say guards. We're going to say six of them. And I, I don't know if I have enough guards. i got to be honest. I really... I have 163 of them. I have, you know, 160, 163. Admittedly, 66 of them have died. And they're also apparently not paid enough. Interesting. Staff morale is also 5%. So what are they complaining about? So they're happy in the job. 102 of serious complaints. 66 have died on duty. I mean, that will certainly do it. The prisoners are, I mean, I feel like they're a little tiny bit happier than they have been in the past. The guards are miserable. That's for sure. The guards are definitely miserable. And these kitchens are just full of everything right now, which is all sorts of ridiculous. Um, let me have a look at food distribution. So this is what I was wondering here. This pantry, it is connected to there. These fields are connected to there as well. And food is, I think, being brought into the staff canteen from time to time. So hopefully we see good things happen there. I hope staff morale can maybe increase. But uh, I think what I'm also going to do, given that we have these solar wind hybrid things lying around, I can actually go in here and I can sell those for a considerable amount of money. And I'm going to do the same over here as well. Because that just got me $92,000. Oh my god. Not bad at all. Uh, also, let's maybe try and get a lot of this done over here. Oh god, what the hell's going on? Why, why does this keep happening? What... What is wrong with them now? Hygiene. So hygiene is bad. And there's a riot underway. Oh, God. Oh, I don't know where that riot is. It's free time right now. It doesn't look like it's over there. Um, I get the feeling there might be a riot Yeah, in here. Let's try and bring that under control a little bit. There we go. There's a few deaths. You know what happens. From time to time. Hmm. I feel like there might still be a lot going on that we don't really know about right now. But, uh, yeah, so hygiene is what was the big complaint there. Safety is definitely another one. I'm a little curious about why hygiene is such an issue. That is weird to me. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to try something because I talked about this... I think in the last episode. I want to get these door timers. And I don't know how these work, but I'm going to get one. I'm going to prioritize it. And I'm curious to see how that ends up working, because if it works how I want it to work, I mean, we're going to need to put servos in as well, I guess. But for example, let me come down here and do a servo there. Let me do a servo there. We can do one here. We can do one here. And we can do them sort of, I guess, kind of all the way along these corridors and whatnot. And we can hopefully, you know, get this set up in such a way that the guards aren't urgently needed for every little thing. Right? So we'll get some basic servo set up. We'll go to utilities again. Go to servo. We'll do one there. We'll do one there, there, and there. So we'll get all of those installed. I mean, the trucks are backing up again as they usually do. Admittedly, I think that's because this guy up here, that servo at the top, doesn't have power. So we're going to need to run power up to that guy. Uh, so where does it need to go? I think under here. So utilities, electrical cable, there. But the problem is I'm pretty sure I can't run electrical cable underneath an exterior perimeter wall thing. So I can run it, I can run it down here, but I can't actually connect it to that servo. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Door servo, move. I can put it there, and I want to see if that actually works. 
And I also want to go to walls, perimeter wall. That is due to be installed, which is great. I don't know why this happens, so we're going to demolish you and you. And then the rest of it we can deal with at some point as well. Now, back to utilities, because I never actually connected this up. Connect that out to there. And, uh, in time, I am hoping that we can maybe... Well, do I... I'm very tempted to just lock this open. I gotta be honest, just so the trucks can get out without being held back. I mean, the prisoners aren't generally supposed to be going out there, so... We'll do that and we'll repair it. We'll just lock it open and hope for the best right now. And, uh, I guess we'll see what comes about. I am thinking as well, I can probably say to these doors that they're no longer going to be locked open. I don't think they need to be. Because we have guards there that can open them for us, so... Not really a huge deal, is, is how I look at it. Not really a, a huge deal at all. And there we go, we got trucks going out now without uh, being held back too much. Although, looks at the cables way back there, so that's going to be a bit of a pain. But uh, what I am thinking we could do is we do have this thing for... At some point, we need to do the apples, peaches, and uh, what was the other one? Oranges, whatever it was. The, you know, uh, the trees thing. I do want to do that. I do want to do that goal at some point. What happened to you? Killed by guard with baton. Fantastic. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let me have a look at my informants. Because we do have one. We have this guy right here, and he's currently in friggin' solitary, because of course he is. Let's activate this guy, get him out of here, and let's, while we're here, grab you. And we're gonna have you become an informant. And then we're gonna grab you. We're gonna have you become an informant. And we're gonna grab you, and have you become an informant as well. So now I have the four of them. You're all going to come over towards the security room. And we're going to learn some things. Is what we're going to do. We're going to learn some things about them. And, uh... We're going to see who might be a target. And who might not be a target. Because what I'm curious about... Is to see if we need to move anybody into protective custody. Because we did have one guy in there. I don't know if he's still in the prison. He might be dead. Honestly, there, there is definitely a chance. Uh, so, yeah, no, he's, well, he's not here anymore. We'll put it that way. He might not be dead. He's probably dead. He, 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 is, he is most likely dead. But there's a chance, is what I'm getting at. Uh, now, looking at informants, they are all en route to uh, wherever I need them going. Are you actually coming up towards the security room now i think this guy is actually on his way to the uh to the security room i think there might be a couple of them actually yeah there they go so they're all on the way to the security room right now so once they go in there we get a little bit of a look at the prison so we get more information on everybody we can see you know these guys have uh drugs and scissors and phones but there's no big target on the map anywhere so we don't have anyone that is currently a target what we do have are a lot of people that are going to need searched so we haven't actually done any kind of shakedown in a long time so let's go ahead and search everything and everyone and just see what we can find it's going to push a lot of people into solitary it's going to push a lot of people uh, to being less than a well more than a little bit annoyed with us but it does at least mean, you know, a lot of the stuff's coming out. Now, what are you all complaining about? Safety. They're not happy about the safety that they have right now. Well, I mean, we're taking all the illegal stuff off of you, so in a way, you're safer than you've ever been. Uh, now, I have to wonder what my janitors are doing. I'm noticing my janitors are moving a lot of the laundry stuff around. Let's go ahead and get more, more of them. Let's go up to, like, 40 janitors and see what happens. Because I noticed the showers are filthy. Right? So, 40 janitors can certainly clean things up a fair bit for us. Oh, by the way, did I mention that we have a helipad? Yeah, we have a helipad. It's kind of really useful, actually. It's ridiculous how useful that helipad is. Now, I am wondering what the last place is that we haven't searched. And I'm not really thinking it 
matters. So we'll stop that. Um, I guess tunnel searches are probably done as a part of a regular shakedown, so I don't think we're too worried there. Staff morale is currently zero. Fantastic. Uh, I wish I could see what they were complaining about. I... I mean, needs. Staff needs. So staff need... F they need food. So they're furious that they can't have that need met. Okay. So is the staff canteen just not good enough? It kind of seems like... Oh, I'm noticing that they have to be on break as well. So I wonder if we were to go into regime or policy, I think it is. Might not be policy. It's somewhere, though. The whole thing that says how many staff can be... Let's see, staff. It might be at the bottom of this. No. The one where it meant... The, the thing that talks about how many... Aha! Maximum staff taking a break. It's going to be 40%. Might be risky, but we're going to do 40% to see if we can cheer them up a little bit. And I'm going to get a few more cooks. So we have 13 right now. 14, 15. I think 15. And I think a couple more uh, stoves in here might be a pretty good idea too. Or cookers, rather. So one and two and three and four. So we might have room for six cooks in there now. So we have five assigned. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And we have 15 cooks. Okay. So now we might end up in a situation where staff are getting fed a little bit better. That might actually cheer them up a little bit too. Hopefully. Hopefully that cheers them up because, I mean, looking at needs, it's, see, yeah, it's, it's coming down, which is good. I'm noticing warmth is, uh, I'm actually, actually thinking about it. I don't think we have temperatures as a thing right now, so I don't think we do need to worry about that. Oh, for God's sake. Again, really? I think this might be the kind of riot that deals with itself, though, yeah. A lot of death. Definitely a lot of death. But for the most part, it's kind of dealt with itself. We're just going to need a lot of my guys coming in to repair things there. Good lord. Okay, well. A little frustrating, but, you know, it's it's being dealt with, I guess. Um, right. Oh my god, these guys are still backing up as well. For god's sake. And it's this thing again where it's just single truck, like trucks with single things on them. I don't understand why they do that. I'm almost tempted to just replace, like, just get more helipads. I wonder if that would be an idea, actually. So, helipad, helipad, helipad. Why can I not see the helipad? There it is. Um, so, put one there. And then put, like, two up here. And I don't know if that's the midpoint between them or not. It kind of seems like it is. It's it's a little difficult to tell. Uh, no, it isn't. Let's just do let's just do three of them. Let's just do three more helipads and see how that goes for us. Because if we just start getting deliveries by helicopter, I mean, that seems like it would be good, right? That seems like the way to go. Although now we have to wait for the helipads to get delivered. So, a little frustrating there. Uh, question though, if we have a look at logistics and prison labor, no one's qualified for this right now, but I want to go ahead and say, you know, 10 of them work in there when they get the chance to do so, so that maybe this, you know, actually gets used at some point, would be kind of nice if it did, oh, would you look, oh no, that is not what that was for. <laughs> That was, that, that is new. No, 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 no. Uh, what are we looking for? Transport. So people do not come in by helicopter. That is, that is going to be the thing right there. I'm glad we got new prisoners. They don't need to arrive by helicopter. That's, that is for sure. They definitely don't need to be doing that. Uh, now, if we could get these two helipads installed as well. That would be fantastic. 
because then I can go ahead and make sure that no one's arriving by either of those helicopters either. You know, that would be, that would be preferred, as ridiculous as it is, to have four helipads as the means to get everything delivered to the prison. I think it would be probably a fair bit better for us than uh, what we have going on at the minute. Now, that's a truck full of wheat right there. How much is that all worth? 2,892. Okay. I have to wonder then, why, like, we aren't really making as much from all of this as I would have thought we would be. I don't know if we're actually making any kind of, I mean, we're technically not making a profit right now, but I have to wonder if we're gonna start. I mean, I have a lot of guards, which probably doesn't help, but... I'm hopeful that we can start making a profit. I'm hopeful that we can start to uh, see some good things happen. It would be nice, is is all I'm going to say. It would definitely be nice. Um, also, flooring. Can I do this? I want to do this to make it look like the, uh, the helipads are sort of actually connected to things here. I think that could look kind of cool. And then we'll do the same up here as well. So something like this... And I think it'll look kind of interesting. So we'll get those done. And I mean, again, we're kind of waiting on the materials getting here. So those will probably arrive, knowing my luck, by truck rather than helicopter. But whatever. Not really a huge deal, I guess. I'm actually kind of happy with this. I've got to be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with how this is looking. It's not as... It's, it's not as horribly managed as it has been. Staff morale is still terrible, which is great. Looking at needs, it's, it's still food. It is, uh, it is, it is definitely, definitely still food. Uh, bowels are also kind of a problem. Bladder is, I mean, it's, there, there's some that are concerned about it. I think it's fair to say they're definitely, definitely concerned. I really think food is, it, that is something we need to deal with, though. And I think it might just be a case of, you know, bigger staff canteen or, I don't know. Uh, bowels as well, though. Definitely, uh, definitely want to look into that. So, probably just a bigger staff room, right? What if we just built a new staff room? Oh, for God's sake, not again. Why are they always why do they always get naked before they start riot? Well To be fair, if you're gonna if you're gonna to be fair, if you're gonna start a prison riot, I guess. I guess get naked first. I suppose I would. Uh if I happened to you know be in a situation where I was gonna start a prison riot. I mean really. Why not? You know? I don't mean why not start a prison riot. That's probably pretty obvious why you probably shouldn't do that, but I mean you know. If you're if you're gonna start a prison riot, then you might as well take a moment and get naked, and then prison riot. You know, it just makes sense. Really, it's it's just just sensible. Um, anyway, let's make this a staff room. Is is what I think we're gonna do here. So we're gonna use these paving stones. We're gonna do this. Get some concrete tiles there. And I want to do some brick walls, so we'll plan this a little bit. Uh, so that's going to be our entrance. So what I'm going to do with this is just this, essentially. We're just going to put a double door uh, right there. So it'll be a double staff door leading into a nice staff room. Uh, in terms of bathrooms, I think we can do something like this and just sort of dot them along with a... Uh, hmm. I guess the entrance could be there. So you come in this way and you got your bathrooms on either side. And then this is sort of the main chunk of staff room. So I think that'll be okay. That'll be a decent enough layout for uh, for the staff room. And also thinking about it. Uh, did I cancel that? No, I didn't. Thinking about it, that's also going to be held back by the trucks taking forever to do anything. Which is just eternally frustrating. I got to be honest. It is just incredibly, incredibly annoying that they just get held back there so much, but whatever. We will manage, I'm sure. 
And also, I probably need to uh, manage getting rid of all these trees. Because they're now growing into my crops, which I don't really appreciate. They're good, you know, it's a good source of money, but them growing into the crops is is not quite ideal, is, is what I'll say there. Uh, now what are we looking at here? What is this? So the door servos are finally arriving. Fantastic. Is the timer in? It is. So how's it? Oh my god. Okay, this is... Um... Wow. Okay. I don't know how this works. <laughs> um... Right. So I need to have a look at deployment. Oh, can I not look at those at the same time? Hold on a minute. So can I ha can I have this open while looking? Oh, I can't have it open while looking at anything. Anything can I? Oh, there we go. Um. So I need to have a look at the regime. And what we're gonna do is do. Oh my God! Do I need different? I need different timers for every setup, I think. So, at 6, we're going to do this one for free time slash work time. So, at 6 a.m., we're going to set it to open. At 11, 12, and 1, it's going to be open. Then at 4, 5, and 6, it's going to be open. Okay, um, right, or maybe what we do is we have this first timer be the one that says everything, like all the, the corridors are going to be open, so if I connect this guy to... Well, I mean, the servos haven't been installed yet, but once the servos go in, if I connect this guy to, you know, the servo here, here, all those ones in the hallways, it means that this one particular uh, timer is going to cause all of these doors to actually be open, is what I'm thinking. So that could be kind of useful for us, I think. Right? Sort of set it up so that the... That clicking was getting really annoying. Um, hmm. Okay, I might be looking into the timers the wrong way, but I think that's kind of what we're going to have to do. So set up one timer to open all the hallways and have another timer that opens the canteen when it needs to be opened. Have another timer that opens the workshop when it needs to be opened. Have another timer that opens, I guess, visitation sort of during the day as well. Uh, You know, another timer that opens the shower when it needs to be opened. That seems like the way to sort of do it so i mean the servos are slowly going in which is great uh it's just yeah this is this is gonna be a little more hands-on than i well not hands-on it's literally the you know quite literally a hands-off process we're automating the prison a little bit further but it's still it's weird is what it is it's definitely a weird one but Whatever. I mean, the servos are slowly being installed, which is great. Although, looking at it, I think we're going to need more. Uh, so, this guy needs a servo. You need a servo. Uh, that's a workplace, so you're going to need a servo. That's the chapel, so I think it's going to need a servo. Then the workshop is definitely going to need one. Uh, this space is going to need one. You're going to need one. You're going to need one because that's the yard right there. Uh, the farming space, I guess, technically is also going to need one. So we'll get all those installed. Showers actually have their servo already, so that's good. Uh, the hallways have most of them. So let's give this a shot then. So if I grab that timer and I say connect... And I want it connected there, and there, and there. So that's going to open all of those doors. Uh, this is only going to be the hallways, though. So these guys are being connected too, and then... So that now keeps those doors open. Then at 11, those doors should close. 
if I'm not mistaken. Obviously, there's a few more doors that probably could do with being, you know, automated. But 11 comes along, and now the doors are technically, you know, closing. Obviously, they're uh, being open to allow prisoners through. But, you know, once 11 comes around, they're all kind of going back to where they should be. That does make me think that maybe we keep them open at 11 as well to give the prisoners time to get into the cell block. Because once it ticks to sleep time, they'll get on their way. I don't think they're necessarily there right away. So that's probably a good idea. And yeah, that, that seems like it kind of works out. So let's get another timer. And let's set that one up for... So, showers, and then workplaces, then the yards, and the canteens. So, we're going to need a few of them. But I think that'll be pretty cool. I've I've really never played around with the, uh, with these timers before, so I'm, I'm actually kind of excited about it. It's, uh, it's definitely kind of neat, and it's definitely something a little bit different for me. Different way of looking at things as well, because the second it ticks over to six in the morning and the second these guys wake up, they are going to get, you know, these doors are going to latch open and it's going to stop them from getting quite as stuck as they might otherwise have gotten. So we're not really going to be relying on the guards quite as much to open all of our doors, which I happen to really like. So that's good. Um, staff morale is still 0%. They're still... Uh, okay, so they're all sleeping. That's good. Uh, food is still a major, major issue. Ay, yay, yay. I think we do just need a bigger staff canteen. Or, I'm noticing the staff room is very popular. What if we were to get rid of um, two of these sofas? So we dismantle those. We'll prioritize it. So those go. And what if we were to put in some snack machines now obviously gonna be a case of waiting and those actually getting delivered and installed but whatever uh either way it is about to be six in the morning so let's have a look and just make sure that this does in fact latch open it does the cells have opened as well the prisoners are up and about going to free time so that's good so that means that uh yeah that absolutely works so they're not being held back by those doors nothing's weird there that is exactly what we want okay so once these other timers go in we can set it up so oh my god hello what the hell is going on over here why did i just hear a gun go whoa 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 Okay, uh, one of my prisoners had a gun there. And I feel like we've lost control of the cell block. Maybe. We definitely need to go in here and take a look around. This is, uh... Eh, I, think, I think we might be back under control. Yeah, so they weren't very grateful for the timers, it would seem. That's great. I was hoping, you know, they would maybe be like, Hey, man, we really appreciated the timers, but no... No, they didn't. They, uh, they definitely didn't. Uh, that's unfortunate, is what that is. Would have been great if they, you know, if they did. They, if they did happen to appreciate the timers, it would have been nice, but they didn't. So, you know, you, you deal with what you got. Um, can I lock this or set it back to normal? Is this, this servo is up and running, but does it actually work? Is what I'm wondering. So if a truck comes down here, are we going to see this open for it? Uh, no, it doesn't look like we are. Can I move the servo down a bit? I don't know if, I don't know if that's actually going to move it at all. Unless it's just not being, I don't think it's being operated right now. Although it looks like we have moved it, so yeah, it's, it's definitely not operating. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, dismantle that servo. And dismantle that servo. It means that we've gone ahead and done uh, a thing here where we have power going up and down here, but there's no need for it. But I guess what we can do is 
throughout throughout the entirety of the day we'll have some guards assigned to uh at least up here which is better than nothing i suppose uh so four and then you're there and then five and then i think that's all of them so we'll have a guard up that way at all times during the day and then one two three four five we'll do the same thing here so three four five there we go so we'll have guards essentially down by these gates at all times to let people in and out and that'll hopefully be a good thing hopefully also is the chapel the chapel is actually up and running which is fantastic i don't know if anybody's actually going to it at any point but it is there so hopefully the prisoners chill a little bit uh still just a whole bunch of trucks making their way in here at a bit of a snail's pace but that's all right why are the shower oh my god hello what the hell's going on down here there's an injured guy. How has he been injured? Are we not going to ask that question? We don't We don't know. Okay, fantastic. All right. Uh, we also only have 26 prisoners right now. So that will have been because I didn't turn off early release until after the uh, a bunch of new prisoners have come in. So this next batch is going to be with us for a while. Uh, but I'll tell you what. I really want to figure out this staff food situation. Because it just seems to me like we're... I mean, they're on break now. But it just doesn't seem like many of them are on break right now. So, we kind of need to figure this... Oh my god, why is this? What is going on? Hello? Guards to the friggin' cell block, please? Was it one guy? I'm pretty sure it was one guy. Okay, I think the cell blocks are fine now. Uh, do we have the new timers in yet? No, we don't. Okay. So I think we're going to be waiting a while on those for the trucks to come through, but that's okay. Um, that's, that's, yeah, that's fine. We can get the timers and then get all of this automated in that particular regard, and then hopefully people will be a little bit happier. And then we'll deal with feeding the staff because they're just bloody miserable right now.